Welcome back. So today I'm gonna to show you guys five tips to using Bing Image Creator to your greatest potential. Um, and if you use Bing Image Creator a lot or you're just starting to use it, there are some great tips and some ways to get better results um, that I personally do and that you can do to get better results. So uh, hop on your computer and we're gonna go to bing.com slash image creator. And uh, right here I have my first result, the first rule that I'm gonna be got that I'm gonna give you guys. Um, and I did a cathedral in a swamp in a painting style. Um, so if you're gonna be doing uh, prompts, use the different types of styles. I'm gonna do a different one and this will be a 3D render. And this is what we get as a 3D render. Um, so it really depends on the style. So I'm gonna go ahead and quickly do another style. This one will be a cartoon, right? And just like that, we have, you know, a, a type of cartoonish uh, style. So use different types of styles at the end, right? Um, it's really uh, up to your imagination what kind of styles you think and put those at the end and you'll get better results. Now, the number two one on the list is going to be um, one that you can use for uh, different types of objects and images and types of things like that. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and just type out a prompt here, a red bird on a solid white background. And the rule is gonna be to use a solid white background because you will be able to generate images that um, look really clean and really professional using a, a solid background with the object in mind. Um, so yeah, here's a bird with a, on a white background, right? And that's pretty simple. Let's do another one. All right, I'm doing an array of candles on a solid white background. All right, and this is the one that I actually really like. This is what I was going for. But I'm gonna go ahead and do another thing. I'm gonna do a medieval helmet. All right, and just like that, we got some great results. I'm actually really happy with these. They're a lot better than the candle one I did earlier. Um, so yeah, you can use them for gaming, for uh, different types of uh, projects, maybe websites or things like that. Use this, I think it's great. Now, number three on the list is going to be to actually be really specific if you're trying to get a certain type of result, right? Let's say you're doing a dog in this sort of style or whatever, um, but you actually want a certain type of dog. You should do the certain type and you'll get actually a lot better result. But for this helmet here, I'm gonna do a medieval helmet with a red uh, brush on top on a solid white background. Okay, just like this, this is what I wanted. Um, so yeah, be specific because you can really get great results like that. Now, number four on the list is going to be choosing a type of action style, maybe for um, the, the type of mood of the thing, maybe it's something running, maybe it's something moving, maybe it's uh, the, the image is raining, maybe um, it's, it's a certain type of mood, like an, an animal sleeping on a this or that. All right, so I'll be doing a cat sleeping on a bench in a flower pasture, right? So to use a verb for the, uh, the objects or things, right? Because it's actually great at those types of details and things. So um, add the types of um, actions that are happening. And there you go, we got a cat sleeping on a bench in a flower pasture. And I really like that, it turned out quite well. Um, yeah, uh, this one as well, and yeah. And number five on the list is to just use Bing. Um, on your phone or your computer, go to Bing, chat, and here you can actually tell us to do certain things. Um, so I did a create a rocket in the shape of an Eiffel Tower, and Bing chat will actually create it uh, just right in the chat. And you can do this on your phone or your computer. Thanks for watching. Uh, use these uh, tips. I think you can get great results. Like, subscribe. Thanks.